got the key to the highway. Build out, I'm bound to go. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that yeah, running because walking is more than two. Well, you fooled up the other day there. No, the left to left us on the phone, talking to her. I bet my cards on the court, leap court, that area. So, no, the last year on the phone, we couldn't find it. It was actually number 10, Glebe Court or something, just at the corner of McCausland. So, the last year on the phone, trying to figure out how to get a pick-up point. So, she said to the woman on the phone, where will the driver sit? So, she'll need to sit in the front, because there's five years. <laughs> <laughs> Two-way taxis. What's the name, please? Hello, Mr. Avenue Road, Avenue Road, Bank 9. Yeah, I got a top of the other day. I was just going parked. Stokes at the lights and this guy comes up to us. Say, Dice, Jim, you take five to Partick. Say, Dice, sure, no bothers him when you come. So the door opens up and I'm fidgeting about. I turn around, there's nine in the motor. Close. So he says, hey, come on, Jim, screw it now. You can't get nine in a taxi. I thought he says five to Partick. And he says, Dice, it's all right, mate. Need four, I get enough in the tune. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night, picked a block up really quiet. You, you, you'd honestly, you'd have took a non pair just to get yourself out of the tune, you know what I mean? And the, and the guy got in, he says, You know, and he's, I says, Where is it, my friend? He says, Newton Merns. Oh, I says, That'll do me. I says, uh, Where are boots in the Merns? He says, Oh, just carry on. He says, No, can I keep you right? So I says, Well, on you go then. So I says, You must be worth a few quid there anyway. I says, Staying up in a illustrious place like that. Oh, he says, I've I worked quite hard for my money and what have you. Anyway, we get to the destination. Lovely penthouse shot. She says, you like to come up for a coffee? I says, nah. I says, I'm afraid I can't. I says, look, I'm awful busy, really. I says, it's... I says, I've got time's money for me. She says, I'll pay you. Who's getting into it? Oh, I says, <laughs> <laughs> I says, well, I'll just come up for one coffee, then. <laughs> up I go. Beautiful place, man. Beautiful. I says, what is it you do? He says, well, I'm into that... Uh, man at leisure. Man at leisure, <laughs> right? <laughs> Flying club. I says, very nice. Bubbles. So he gives us a coffee. I says, look, I can't wait. He says, they're five pounds. <laughs> I says, oh, very good. So I a coffee. I said, I'll need to be scamming. He appears with a kilt. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> she says, who's that? I said, very nice. I said, well, I'm not into that at all. I says, actually. I says, it's the same tartan as I've got in the back seat. He <laughs> <laughs> says, he went, he says, try it on. Oh, I says, Writings in the wall, and I says, nah, I said, I said, I'll let you scam her. I says, because to be quite honest, I says, that's a half an hour, a five, I can earn maybe six quid out there. I said, I'll let you go anyway. I said, I enjoyed meeting you in that. It's lovely, lovely murals all over the place, you know, Ming vases, the full bifters. Probably makes me out of the So, aye, <laughs> so, so I wind up with a bit of that, with a kilt. I said, uh, do you like to try it on? I said, no. Nah. <laughs> I said, it will not fit me. I said, I might be going anyway. I said, I'll give you 20 pounds. I went, I'm your man. <laughs> 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 